I've got this news which is fucking hilarious off the back of the Ibiza stuff. Look at how crazy us British people are. Look at how crazy we are. Courtesy of Mixed Mike. Ryanair announces a ban on duty-free alcohol on flights from UK to Ibiza. Did you hear that? Ryanair announces a ban on duty-free alcohol on flights from UK to Ibiza. We are too much of a liability to be trusted to drink um, our fucking duty-free alcohol on the plane on the way to Ibiza, which is already a party fucking island without getting messed up and you know making an absolute fool of ourselves and getting on the nerves of our fellow passengers because if there's one place that i refuse to be annoyed by with other people is on the plane because there's nowhere you can go when somebody's just being overly argumentative or loud and shit it's really weird but i'm also kind of fortunate because most of the flights i take are kind of boring so i don't usually i don't know about you guys but whenever i'm on a flight very rarely you do, do i see people like buying shit whether it's a drink or some sandwiches or something to eat, everyone's just kind of just, you know, basically on the flight waiting to go to a destination. No one's really caring about eating anything too tough on the plane. So I can only imagine what it must be like to be on a plane with somebody, with a group of people on a destination somewhere where everyone's getting fucked. I can only imagine what that must be like, the, the, the vibe. People playing music on their phone, jumping up and dancing. There's a viral clip of some lads on the way to IB4 Amsterdam cutting up lines on the fucking table, on their chair and shit. I can only imagine how fucking crazy that must be to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. But I've been lucky where I don't have that, you know, I've never had that kind of happen to me because most places I go to are boring and I'm usually not going within the kind of peak festival time and shit. But right now, I've obviously had enough. So let's read the article. It says, Right now has announced that passengers travelling from the UK to Ibiza will not be allowed to consume alcohol bought in duty-free following a string of antisocial incidents on the flights. Customers were informed via email from the airline that duty-free alcohol taken on board their flights from the UK to the Balearic Islands will now have to be tagged and stored under the aircraft. So they're treating us like absolute babies. They're going to take our duty-free alcohol away from us. They're going to bag it and tag it so you can't get access to it. And you're going to get it when you, you know, land at the place you're in. So all you can have basically are the drinks that they're going to serve you, you know, during your flight. Um, with those attempting to consume alcohol, risking removal from the flight. The decision comes after 15 people, 15 people were removed from a flight from Manchester to Ibiza in April due to drunken behaviour causing a delay for five hours. The airline expanded that anyone's displaying signs of antisocial behaviour will be removed from their routes to the White Isles. Now, I'm wondering, right, stuff like this. I wonder if the reason why this happens is because in the UK, which I don't know, this is strange to say this, but I feel like in America, you guys have way more consequences for like unruly behaviour in airports. People get lifetime bans, which is dumb which, no, this is not dumb which is weird because people still make you know a fool themselves in airports you see countless videos of people fighting in airports arguing with fucking you know um airport staff and stuff and basically risking their ability to fly because they're of a slight inconvenience all the time so i guess the deterrent isn't that much really but in the uk for some reason i have a feeling that airlines don't really you know ban people that willy-nilly so probably that's why people take the piss when they go to fucking airports and they get fucking pissed up. Um, so you feel like you can kind of get rid of anything because there are no consequences. So maybe that kind of happens. But can you imagine how unruly you have to be for 15 people to get pulled off a plane? 15. That's insane. And luckily, you know, as annoying as it is to wait for five hours, luckily this didn't happen in the air. Because if it's happening in the air and you've got no option but to fucking, you know, put up with these people until you land, that is awful. At least they kind of caught it before the plane, you know, lifted off. It continues, it says, the email explains that the new rules have been put in place in order to prioritise the comfort and safety of all passengers. And by extension, the employees who must now thoroughly search all cabin bags <laughs> before boarding and can have access to the customers deemed unfit to travel. So already when you're going to the fucking airport, the searches are way too intrusive, especially post 9-11. All airport security got fucking, you know, turned up to the fucking max. You have to go through the gates, go through the fucking, the get, you know, whatever, the inspection, which I always have to fucking go through because, you know, what I look like. It's always a random search with me every single time. You go through the fucking gates, you have no metal, no nothing on you. And for some reason, the alarm always goes off whenever I walk through it. So you have to get patted down. Then my luggage gets searched. Then you finally get, you know, finished. You get all your stuff together. You put your belt back on or you put back all your shoes. You do all your shit. You pack your bag up again. You zip it up and you go to the fucking gate. 
And now when you go into the gate, you can have somebody check your luggage again for any fucking bottles of like absolute vodka or some shit. That's fucking awful, man. But again, the errors of a small minority always end up affecting the majority of people. It says the changes are sure to be met with approval from Balearic authorities who last year began a campaign to curb excessive binge drinking on the island, banning drink deals, pub crawls, party boats and restricting the sale of alcohol in shops and off licenses. So all the things that would make it fucking fun to go there, they kind of banned. No drink deals, no pub crawls, no party boats and no re- alcohol in shops and off licenses. Fucking hell, man. This sounds like the worst time ever to go out beef for now. Money saving measures which encourage tourists to consume more alcohol such as happy hours and two for one drinks um, have also been banned by these government establishments who continue to violate these rules risk fines of between 60,000 euros to 600,000 euros with the closure of their businesses up for three years. Those on an all-inclusive holidays face similar restrictions as a six as a six drink a day cap. <laughs> Honestly, you can't do that to British people. We drink six drinks in the fucking morning. Sometimes with our lunch, six drinks a day. Individuals found breaking these restrictions could be subject to hefty fines of between one thousand to six thousand euros. So, again, another win for us British folk. Another win for us being some of the worst traveling tourists ever. I think. People don't know this, but I think UK tourists are up there with like Americans in terms of their level of annoyance and their levels of antisocial behavior when they go to abroad. Um, maybe again, because we're small and people don't really pay attention to it, but we're just as bad as Americans. You know, usually American tourists have bad reputations around the world. UK people are the same. Same goes for Australian. Um, I can't think of the other one. And obviously maybe Chinese. Um, but honestly, we have a really, really bad reputation. I swear to God, because... They've had laws, drinking laws change in like Ibiza, Amsterdam, other pl- like places like even in Eastern Europe, I'm thinking, I forgot where it is, maybe it's Poland or Hungary, some, all these places that usually a lot of English people go to for like stag do's or like cheap holidays. They've had to change some of their rules, some of their legislation, some of their drinking laws, whatever it may be, to kind of curb some of the crazy behavior that goes on with us brits when we get out there from the excessive drinking to the drug taking to just fighting and shit it's really really crazy we are really bad but again big up everybody that's going to be for trying to sneak duty-free vodkas onto the plane it's simply not worth it because you may get a fine that's absolutely crazy so big up you if you try big up you if you end up